We're in the middle of the worst Ebola outbreak in history. It's a global health emergency. But how did it get this far? I'm Dina and here's what you need to know about what it's going to take to stop Ebola. Ebola is a virus usually found in tropical regions. It was first discovered in 1976 near the Ebola River in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Scientists think it comes from fruit bats, and among people, it's spread through contact with bodily fluids. Most Ebola patients die, and there is no cure. The current outbreak is the largest ever, and the first in West Africa. It began in Guinea in March and is spreading fast. And because Ebola is new to the region, there's a lot of misinformation out there. That's delaying treatment and giving the disease more time to spread. And unlike before, this outbreak is affecting densely populated urban areas. So if there's no cure, what's it going to take to contain this epidemic? A lot of help from the rest of the world. And finally, that's starting to happen, with 3,000 U.S. soldiers building medical centers and 165 Cuban doctors and a Chinese lab team among those who'll be helping. A huge reason the outbreak spread is poor medical infrastructure. The good news? A lot of it can be improved. Here's how. By getting those desperately needed medical workers on the ground, properly isolating and treating infected patients, and protecting those most at risk, the health workers, family members, and mourners. That involves distributing sanitation kits, encouraging people to wash with soap, and quickly burying infected corpses appropriately. But experts say they've never had to deal with something on this scale, and the UN says much more is needed. One billion dollars worth of aid, to be exact. Do you think governments are doing enough to stop Ebola before it spreads to other parts of the world? Let us know. Want more? Download the AJ Plus mobile app and join the conversation. Available in your app store now.